Oh yeah. Howdy everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. All right, today's gonna be a little bit different video. We went on a little bit of a vacation and I wanna share y'all, life has been nuts lately. And that is not, I've always said life has been nuts for the past eight years, but it's just even more nuts uh, lately. Uh, we went on a trip to California, my cousin's wedding. We live in Indiana, those of you who don't know, we're Southern Indiana folk. And we went to California, LA for a wedding. I've never been to California in my life. I wanted to go, uh, and I love my cousin. I wanted to support her and everything. And uh, <clears throat> but this is how we. Did. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this. I'm gonna read out my journal a little bit, uh, and I'll show y'all some pictures and stuff. See, I don't bore y'all to tears. But Thursday morning, it, we 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 left on Thursday, and we did Friday, Saturday, and flew back on Sunday, and that we went all the way to the coast the west coast and come back on Sunday. And we left it, I think it was noon Thursday. So this thing was wide open. I think one night we slept two hours. So Thursday morning, after an already crazy week, it's got, I got wrote down a journal, it's been a crazy, crazy week. Uh, but we left on 420. <laughs> I'm not in that crowd, but whatever. Uh, but we started up the mill to finish the hard maple on Thursday morning, been a slow week sawing because of hard maple and walnut, they saw slow. Um, <clears throat> put the band on, all fair to saw for a while, and uh, <clears throat> went up and got changed, took a sink bath, and uh, left for the airport at nine o'clock uh, central time. Uh, forgot my phone, had to go back and grab it. Uh, we had a long, Long flight to LA from Atlanta. Plane was a huge Airbus. It was an A, was a 321. Freaking motors on this thing is huge. Uh, flew against the headwind, took five and a half hours to get to LA from Georgia, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and that headwind, which I thought was peculiar, interesting to, to note. Think about the fuel that thing was a drink in them big engines, but to fly against the headwind all the way out there is five and a half hours there three and a half hours back. So that's two whole hours just battling headwind. Uh, <laughs> got to sit next to Mommy took the window seat, I took the middle seat, and then there's an aisle seat, and this old Stinky McGee sat on the aisle. I think, I, I don't know what's wrong with him, but he stunk like a, I played with the air conditioner vents. Let's see, with a little triangulation with the air conditioner vents and stuff, problem solved. I'll blow the stink out the aisle to the next... <laughs> Whoever sat across the aisle from us, I'm sorry, but he was killing me. Uh, and a tip. If you're going to take a long plane ride, take Advil before before the plane takes off. Your body will thank you. We got to LAX about 6 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, LA time. So through time changes and stuff like that, it changed your time. But we ended up there like 6 o'clock. LAX is the fourth largest and busiest airport in the world. At this time, it took hours to navigate. I don't think we got out of the airport till eight o'clock with a rental Jeep. Mommy got us a rental Jeep, which is very good for Mommy because he's gonna drive up Highway 1 and that sort of deal. Uh, we got Enterprise, Jeep Wrangler, good decision. Tahoe with four by four might've been better for more people. But this was nice. There's four of us. It's me, mommy, and mom and dad. Um, once again, it turned into. Oh yeah, I've been having it rough lately, guys. I have to reason with you. I wrote, wrote down here in my journal. Once again, I turned into a little bitch bag. Traffic and confusion. I guess it triggered me off a little bit. Yeah, let's get into this. Uh, <laughs> the first day we went into. Uh, we, we, st we started at Malibu Beach. Me and Mama and uh, Mommy come down here, checked out the beach and the rocks and the uh, <clears throat> barnacles and all that stuff. Uh, Big Daddy stayed up and guarded a Jeep. It was right off the side of Highway 1, so uh, <clears throat> he wanted to kind of stay with it for a little bit. And uh, it was kind of a path to get down here. Well, <laughs> 
sign that says Nella to the beach. Got it. And that away. Okay. Well, that's all right. So the beach is up on the hill? <laughs> so Mal Malibu Beach. There's a lot of shit about Malibu Beach. Oh, you don't get, you're not allowed yeah. to put your window down. Yeah. yeah. Or do you have one back there? You sit back there and shut your face. No, you got me locked out. <laughs> uh, oh, it won't work? Little kids can't be trusted. Yeah. No, it's on. There's, there, I'll shut them off. Well, I can't see when I blow my phone up, I lose it. Oh, Look at that coastline. We need to go down that dune here, man. Well, you'll have an opportunity. You have to get out of this heavily populated gym. I don't know how far that was. Yeah, I got the buttons. Yeah, I got the buttons. Okay, hold on. We're Let good, me try right? it again. I look good. Yep, we're good. Behind you. Nope. We're good behind you. Still got me. Good behind you. Still These palm trees. Right in there. Wow. Wow. There we go. Take it in. There's a little runny babbit. All the way up? Yeah. Runny babbits can survive here too, Mommy. Look at them places. Is that cool or what? That's what you say. A little wrought iron fence. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And just location alone, think of the expense in putting this crap up here. Don't tell Somebody don't have their seatbelt on. <laughs> Somebody don't have their seatbelt on. Are we still recording? Oh, yeah. Look at that place. Cool. Then get the mountains. Jeez, my oh. knees, look at these mountains. And that fence is bent over, I wonder if... Yeah, you know, they do get a little bit of snow. Somebody don't have their seatbelt on. Oh, this thing that's me. Dad don't have Sorry. No. They might not monitor the back seat, all right. Yeah. Oh, Look down the valley, too. Okay, here. <laughs> Look at it, would oh. you? Holy cow. Yeah. Is that nuts or what? There ain't nobody coming up here. Uh -uh. There's the first decent rock I've seen over there. I see rock. Let me just, they can go around us. They come up. Look, don't stub a tire. Look at this, would you? Look at all that. We wound all the way up through that mess of stuff. Gosh, this is awesome. I need a spot up here to reflect. We round around here that morning up in the Malibu Hills here just admiring the views and my gosh the expense that goes into living in this spot uh, if you're a contractor man you blow your transmission out trying to climb up here to work on somebody's house and there's plenty of contractors that's all we've seen at this time of day is contractors and there's plenty of vehicles at home i'm sure a bunch of them is working from home and doing that sort of mess and it just it was something else i'll have to say uh to get exposed to this landscape i mean they lick them and stick them right on the side of this hill i don't know how they get water up to it or nothing i never did see we might have seen a little bit of utilities there but it was something it was odd
success story. But they fixed it. Now, as you all can imagine, we don't get a lot of time to ourselves and stuff like that, and we don't get a lot of time to reflect. And uh, we kind of, the four of us kind of trying to manage this company full of good people and all that stuff out to mill. Uh, chaos is always instilling, you know, and uh, we're kind of putting out fires all the time trying to get things squared away and stuff. And setting up on these rocks with Big Mama and Mommy, uh, Dad was talking to a, uh, a, a older couple up there on the hill about some things. But well, we sat down, we had a good little meeting about people, uh, about uh, personalities, getting personalities together, working together, and when the personalities won't fit in a team and stuff like that. And just a good neutral spot to have a meeting. And then, uh, then we hit the road again. We decided on the spur of the moment, we're going to drive hours away to Sequoia National Forest. Because I want to show Mommy. Mommy's got to see the Pacific Ocean now. All this stuff, Highway 101 or 1 or whatever. And then we're going to head to the, the Sequoia National I got a road down here. Got up, headed through Malibu. Ocean less potent than in, the, in, the, in, the, in Oregon. <clears throat> More like Atlantic here. But not much for beaches, packed sand, lots of volcanic rocks and ledges, sea lions, sea gulls, but no sign of killer whales today. Had an awesome drive up through the Malibu Hills, steep and beautiful high elevations, and then hit Point Doom. Point Doom is this place was awesome. Let the breeze hit you, stare out over the ocean, listen to the sea lions and gulls. In the distance, you can make out some of the coastal islands on the horizon. Then we went through Oxnard Valley, full of fruit, greenhouses, fields, strawberries, the best I've ever had for miles. Um, the best I've ever had. And it goes on for miles. Migrant labor everywhere, true sight to see. Interstate 5 through Bakersfield, 100 miles of flat orchards after the mountains. Insane to see. Then we headed through the, north, the oil fields northeast of Bakersfield. Never seen so many whales pumping in my life. Looked like a city made out of pumps. Miles and miles of orchards to Sequoia National Park. I rode down here, steep, scary drive on the side of a mountain. This is Kern County, oil producing county. This is the potato chip. That's potato chip. <laughs> Shit producing potato. No, I can't put that yum, in. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Look at all that. This has been, what, five miles, four this, miles of this so far? This is what keeps California only a dollar ahead of everybody else on gasoline. Because this. Because they get this. I out. would love to be a gearbox salesman in a place like this. Can you? Look at all them. So is this this not fracking? Fracking. Nope. Not fracking. Can't it's just regular. Frack. If they can frack, they can supply California with but, all the oil. They, but the crop babies are cutting them off. Oh, so they got to they gotta buy most of their, a lot of their oil. Well, what I've noticed so far from California is there, there's plenty of room stuff in California. Oh, yeah. Those of us in the rest of the country sees a news feed and stuff like that and puts California in a box. California don't go in. Can you imagine being a rural person in this state, fed up with it? I feel like we've been living in Illinois, where Chicago runs it. Or upstate New York. Or upstate New, New York, York where New York City runs it. And we're lucky not to have some yeah. big, large population. population. We got Bloomington, <laughs> but that's the only. Right right yep. Look how fast! Look how fast they're growing. Hi everybody, we got mommy with us. Hello everybody. We're getting ready to head to the Sequoia National Park and I was, uh, figured I'd let mommy do some commentary because she wants to talk to all of us. <laughs> What'd well, you think about how steep that was? <laughs> it was a little bit of a hill, just a little bit. It was amazing. It's incredible. How far up were we? I'm not what? sure. Thousands of feet like above it. Yeah, feet. way up there. And I was scared, to, uh, uh, 
scared, scared to death. Uh, somebody's gonna knock us off the hill. Now we got in there to the trees. What'd you think well, of the trees? They were little shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't know. I was like, I kept waiting for a general. General Grant. General Grant. General yep. Grant, the, come the out and third biggest, line. largest tree. I see one and think that must be him. <laughs> and then we we go a little further and it was like, oh, see one even bigger. And, yep. uh, yeah, it was pretty amazing. I had never never seen anything like this before. What did you think of the snow? It was just um, crazy how we went from the ocean and yep. 80 degrees and in shorts. In shorts. <laughs> and then four and a half hours later, we were we were here. 16 feet of snow they had and it was we were so lucky it was their opening weekend yes i forgot about that yeah it was their opening weekend uh we just got there they just started opening stuff up and i guess covid hit california hard yeah yeah it had and uh there was one road in one road out yep and it was so lucky we got to go up here cause... yeah and they was going about covid and covid stuff and covid this covid that so i guess covid hit the shit out of california <laughs> Yeah. But anyways, so 16 foot of snow, and uh, it was nuts. It, what, what was the temperature? 48? I was saying the 40s, upper 40s maybe. It was in the, yeah, mid to upper 40s. And we stayed the night up here. I mean, it was comfortable enough to walk around and not be cold. But yeah. You really needed like a sweatshirt. Yep. So it was perfect weather. Couldn't have been any better. And, and some of the buildings up here just got drowned in snow we went in one <laughs> yeah we went in one underneath the snow and we'll have that here towards the end of this yeah it's like a 15 16 foot tall building underneath the snow it's like an igloo yeah <laughs> and one of them the one we stayed in was crackling and stuff in, the, in their porch where it, it had been it and actually cracked the drywall on the inside like it was the snow load was really marring down on it this is that little building no, that was the lobby. Oh. Where we come into, yeah. Me and the guy, me and old boy, sitting there in the lobby next morning shooting a bull, and oh my gosh, I didn't see it was crackling. That. Yeah, big day would have freaked <laughs> out on that. Didn't yep. Show us. <laughs> yeah. But here is the lodge and stuff. The building inside that snow pile, they just gave up on it. Is this where they have the cars buried? No. <laughs> <laughs> the roof sticking out of the snow. Oh, I didn't get nothing other than buried cars. Oh. They had cars buried in the snow roofs collapse in on and stuff you know with mashing in on and stuff and that's a building of snow under uh, over the top of it yeah it was and our little first igloo i've ever been in yeah it was <laughs> i didn't want to be in there very long though <laughs> yeah i need you can see you'll see here in a minute there's you yeah i photobombed i'm sorry <laughs> i can't help it Your there's big daddy. daddy and that's a look at that pile of snow that's and this is inside a oh, building that's wild. outside right there that's a courtyard now look where the the snow sliding off the roof and then making that giant pile right there. Do not enter. <laughs> yeah, do not enter. So we went. So we what we did it. was entered. So yeah. we're gonna shut this off right before we go see the trees. But uh, come back again. We'll see the trees. Uh, some this is B seventeen. Some wind farms and Joshua trees and there. There's mommy and Joshua yeah. tree being cute. This is on our way back. Yep, but we'll see y'all in the next one. I think y'all is going to like it. Bye. <laughs>